angry mob assembled outside Caesar's home, wanting to march on the Senate and do God knows what. Whoa. Uh-oh. Are they gonna... They're gonna jump Caesar? All right. We're continuing this series. Um, Kato. This is very... Kato was short. never elected consul. So, so, video over. Goodbye. But I feel like talking about Cato, so let's look at his term as Tribune of the Plebs in 62 BCE. Oh, well, mostly. For whatever reason, Tribunes of the Plebs took office on December 10th, so the beginning of Cato's year slightly overlaps with the end of Cicero's year. When Cato took office late in 63 BCE, the conservatives had already joined forces and destroyed most of the Catiline conspiracy. The Hold on. I should have watched this when I was dealing with my other reaction i probably shouldn't have because it's only six minutes long i'm like oh that's very short maybe i should drop like two reactions or something i don't know city, city was now was safe but sharply divided groups of catalina's supporters had been hanging around outside of the senate house harassing senators and threatening to start a riot in this context cato's role as the tribune of the plebs became all the more important there were 10 of them elected every year, and they could propose legislation to both the popular assembly and to the senate. They could also veto any legislation or action coming from any other elected official. You can think of them as a popular counterbalance against the senate. It was kind of strange that a staunch conservative and a creature of the senate was elected to this office, which was usually dominated by populists and reformers. But with the conservatives politically ascendant, and the city still on the brink of violence, Cato knew that everyone was anxious to see what his faction was going to do next. The first thing Cato did was introduce Just legislation saying. related to the grain- Bro, I can't really like, say anything because if I say anything, I'm gonna like miss out on so much freaking details. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta like, replay this, but this is um... Interesting. Interesting. And the city still on the brink of violence. Cato knew that everyone was anxious to see what his faction was going to do next. The first thing Cato did was introduce legislation related to the grain dole. For the past 60 years, Rome had operated a public program where they had bought grain from overseas, stored it in government-run warehouses, and sold it at subsidized rates throughout the year to poor citizens who met certain requirements. Traditionally, the conservative faction had liked to make a show of chipping away at the Grand Dole whenever possible. Now, Cato put legislation forward that would quadruple the size of the Dole overnight. So what was Cato doing? He was co-opting one of the big legislative goals of the reform faction. He was betting, rightly in my opinion, that a well-fed city was much less likely to support radical revolutionaries like Catalina. He also wanted to associate reformers with the negative aspects of the Catalan conspiracy and disassociate them from some of the more popular. Interesting. Interesting. So why didn't Cato? Why didn't Cato not get like um what was it? Uh, why did he not get? I forgot the position that it was called at the start of the video. <laughs> was it sen no no i think he's a senator right now was it council right it was council right because he seems like oh freaking hell i'm trying to remember what it was but it was it was the the um position at the start of the video why didn't he get that right all right let's see popular stuff, like expanding the grain dole. Cato introduced the bill before the Senate, and although Cicero, as consul, raised some objections at the extremely high cost of the bill, many other conservatives got on board, and it passed easily. As you would expect, it was even more popular with the public assembly, who stood to benefit from the bill directly. It was passed into law. Imagine the logistical nightmare of having to buy and store all of that additional grain. Some poor bureaucrat's job instantly got four times harder. Okay. Sometime later, honestly, bro, I like this. I like this. I like this. I, 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 I really, really, really love this. I wish democracies could be more like this because you see democracy today. It's just a bunch of, I mean, sure. These people are meddling. These politicians are meddling. Sure. 
but the bills and the laws that they pass are we benefiting from them guys i want you to think about this when was the last time you heard about a law that our bill that congress put up to pass that benefited us can you guess just think about it right i mean well i have a lot of people that aren't from america so i'm not sure how uh it's like what it's like you know in your country right because i know countries like germany have like so many political parties i honestly like that type of system where it's like a bunch of political parties right because because it's not this weird two-party system you, you know where there's like a bunch of confusion but but still guys the only time i could think of something that really affected the people air quotes was uh, abortion i hope youtube doesn't smite down my channel for saying that word the whole roe v wade thing right every that that thing just went crazy but aside from that that was probably like the only like political thing that i've heard that has you know affected us you know let's continue your sister had left office the leading conspirators had been executed but a small ragtag rebel army remained on the field Another tribune of the plebs, a guy named Metellus Nepos, put a bill before the Senate to recall Pompey and his army from the east and to have him take command of the city. Cato opposed this, saying that the conspiracy was under control and, hey, let's be reasonable. We've got two perfectly competent consuls here, elected by the people. Why don't we just let one of them take care of the army? Metellus responded by calling Cato a coward and threatened to ignore the Senate's advice on this matter and take the bill directly to the public assembly. Cato responded by saying something along the lines of, Pompey and his army enters this city over my dead body. Let's back okay. up for some context. The last oh, time wait. Some wait, 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 oh, wait. Well, well. Is he saying that he wants to smoke? Does he want smoke? Is that, is that what he's saying? He's saying... <laughs> Okay. Oh, they damn. They commanded the city. They had installed themselves as dictator and systematically murdered their political opponents. I've touched on this before. Go. This was Sulla. Pom Typical dictatorship. Pompey had been one of Sulla's lieutenants, so you can understand why this was setting off alarms in Cato's head. He had no intention of letting history repeat itself. Days later, Metellus did as he had promised and took his bill to the public assembly without the consent of the Senate. Cato went down there with another conservative tribune of the plebs to put a stop to the whole thing. Metellus instructed a clerk to begin proceedings by reading the bill aloud, and Cato immediately vetoed it. Metellus then took over reading the bill himself, and Cato vetoed it again, this time grabbing the bill from his hands. Metellus continued reciting the bill from memory, and Cato's conservative colleague threw his hand over Metellus's mouth to stop him from speaking. By the way, violence against the tribute. What the heck? Dude, the way how they did their stuff, it's so surreal. I mean, it's entertaining. I mean, dude, if freaking politics today would be like this, oh my gosh, you bet I would be watching this all the time. Granted, I always watch politics anyways, so, but still, dude, the fact that this type of stuff was, it's just weird, it's like straight out of a TV show, you know, like, this is the vibe that I'm getting, and I'm like, thinking to myself, what in the heck, this is real, this is canon, this is literally like, this transpired in our actual real life timeline. Wild, bruh. You know, the plebs was a crime punishable by death. And this seems like an act of violence to me, but nothing would come of it. Anyway, the crowd saw this altercation going down on the stage and started attacking the other conservatives in attendance. The crowd only dispersed when. Wait, 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 wait. So let me get this straight. <laughs> they saw them fighting on the stage fighting and then they decided to go out and fight each other too <laughs> oh the duality of the human brain 
oh, it blows my mind how people are so easily influenced and so easily manipulated. Rumors started to spread that a consul was approaching with a gang of armed men, something that would have been illegal if it had been true, which it wasn't. But the crowd scattered anyways, and the bill was not passed. Metellus was so bitter over this incident. Proves my point. The duality of the human brain slash psychology. Incident that he left the city in protest. Tribunes of the plebs were actually forbidden from leaving the city during their term, but considering the laundry list of illegal stuff that had just happened, nobody bothered to stop him. The Senate formally endorsed Cato's handling of the situation. They tried to go a step further and strip Metellus of his tribuneship, not for fleeing the city, but for starting a riot. But Cato talked them out of it. Side note, Julius Caesar had publicly supported Metellus through this whole ordeal. Yeah, I was wondering, um, uh, where is Caesar? What is Caesar doing throughout this whole thing? I mean, I know it's not his episode, you know? And this series that I'm doing was literally supposed to be a Caesar episode. I mean, I, someone told me that I kind of started this series out of order. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me fill that up before I, you know, come back and start the series in like, you know, order. So we'll talk we'll talk about about it. side so. note, Julius Caesar had publicly supported Metellus through this whole ordeal. He was serving as one of the eight preachers that year. But when Metellus fled the city, Caesar renounced his preachership in solidarity. Is the that a big day? And is that a big deal? Is that a big deal? Is it? Someone answer that for me if you get this far into the video. An angry mob assembled outside Caesar's home, wanting to march on the Senate and do God knows what. Whoa! Uh oh! Are they gonna. They're gonna jump Caesar? They're gonna lynch Caesar? Uh oh! Caesar spoke to the mob, calmed everybody down, and sent them home. The Senate oh. was impressed by Caesar's statesmanship. And wow. Talk, talk no jutsu. <laughs> You know, like how, I don't know, most of y'all probably don't watch anime, but still, it's like how, if you do, you probably know what I'm, I'm about to say or what that term means. Is that how those, like, main characters come out and, you know, there's like an angry mob or something? It's exactly like that, actually, the more I think about it. And then they say some, like, I don't know, BS or something, and the mob is like, oh, okay, never mind. We're not going to lynch you anymore. I mean, it's such a meme that people call it talk talk no jutsu you know like all those ninjas like do those jutsus that just appear out of nowhere and it works it's basically like that dude it's freaking oh my gosh caesar was a genius in the battlefield and he has talk talk no jutsu what the heck bro and, and restored, restored him to the office he had just resigned but cato voted against this Caesar had had some suspicious peripheral role in the Catiline conspiracy, and now he had some peripheral role in this Metellus affair. This didn't sit right with Cato. From this moment on, the rivalry between these two men would only grow. Oh. Oh, really? Is that so? Alright, you made it all the way to the end of the video. That means you like my reactions. Make sure that you subscribe for more content like this. If you have any suggestions, make sure that you comment it down below. Eventually, I will get to it. Don't forget to like the video so that YouTube promotes my stuff on the algorithm. After that horrible shadow ban, I was my, my channel was shadow banned for four months. For is it? No, five months, I think. Yeah, I think five months, which is horrible. So, and it's now just recovering from that. So, dropping a like would really, really help me a lot. Thank you for watching and goodbye.